So this is X-Men Battle of the Atom. This is a card battle game uh, published by Marvel Entertainment and produced uh, and developed by Area Mobile. And uh, so this is basically a competitive strategy game. Um, we have more strategy elements, I feel, than a lot of the top card battle games that are out there, kind of like Rage of Bahamut, um, just because we have card combos and certain characters that can work with one another. Um, to deal more damage and because this is revolving around Battle of the Atom and sorry for any spoilers here but uh, Battle of the Atom is kind of like a time traveling event where mutants uh, go so to a, different areas. a movie areas. or comic? I don't follow the X-Men scene. Oh yeah, it's so. an it's a official comic. Okay. And we base all of our events off of the official Battle of the Atom wow. comic which is um, right. still ongoing and it's in a series. Um, so the cool thing is that because it's a time traveling event, we wanted to pull a lot of the X-Men from different eras and then incorporate them into a card collecting card battle game. And one of the coolest features about this is actually our 20 versus 20 battle system. And that's probably the most exciting part and the reason why everyone's playing it. I'm just going to jump into that really quick because it looks like we only have a couple minutes to do it. But um, every four hours, there's a 20 versus 20 X-Team battle. And basically that's when 20 players of two different X teams uh, versus each other for half an hour. Okay. And you have five strikers on your team. So on the left you can see you have five. And those are the people that have the most damage that they can deal. And then usually there will be another five on um, the other side as well. And so you can have the option to attack or support, which is why this is actually very strategy based. So you can... You know, go through your different cards. Some will show up and say um, blindfold and uh, bling and sprite. They all work together for a power bonus or a team bonus. And this is what enables you to deal more damage to the other team. Okay. So you can see um, you only have five people on the floor, but that's um, your strikers who can do the most damage. But in the background, you have another 15 members. So those 15 members can also attack. So these, these represent actual players that are playing right now? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. This is actually um, our test build right now, so a lot of the people at our offices are currently working on the game. So they're probably also testing and uh, doing the battle. But if you join the regular servers, um, and this is a game only for our iOS currently, um, you'll see that people are very engaged. This right. is like their favorite feature because um, their rewards are good. And so again, you can you can combo with uh, each attacker. So if you rally off with one person who has made an attack, you can do an attack and it will add to the attack combo. And then if the attack combo rises, that means you'll do more battle points, aka more damage. You can also do support if you're not on the strike team. And this enables you to give more buffs, more debuffs um, to your team or the opposing team. And that's also another element of strategy is to be able to coordinate um, between your team um, and anticipate what the other team is doing. Unfortunately, <laughs> the battle just ended because uh, it starts at 10, and okay. at 10.30. Um, but this is the most popular feature. And when you so finish, do you need to compete in the entire battle to get the rewards for it, or if you just dip in for like the last 10 seconds, you can still... You can dip in, but the top teams... Uh, they're very strict. Okay. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, G kick if you don't show up for uh, you know, a certain amount of battles a day or if you don't do anything or if you do the combos wrong or something. There's also a chat feature um, where people can talk to one another. I'm riveting chat currently. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually, um, you know, on my own X team, we actually do have to communicate with each other. Um, I think some of the top X teams actually go online. I'm sure you know the mobile app line. They actually communicate with each other and say, oh, cool. hey, like, you have to do a support right now. I think some of them even go on, like, VoIP, you know, voice activation systems just to be able to coordinate all of their attacks together. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's the most popular feature. And, of course, we do have our missions as well. And this is based off of some of the more pivotal characters. Um, of the X-Men series. And we did adopt original art from Marvel. Um, and also James Asmus was also a writer for several um, of our storylines for the missions. And then we do incorporate some of the original comics in here. So you can just go through and, you know. Oh, cool. So you're not left behind if you haven't 
exactly. read the comics. All right. I mean, up to this, there is like up to a point. Um, I think up, up to Schism, which is when this whole arc starts. So there will be some spoilers if you haven't really read, but it gets through most of you know the basic character storylines and interactions. And all of our um, every three weeks we do start an event centered around these missions. And so this is just the basic uh, story mission that's available with every game. So what's most important to you is that you can collect all the cards that have team bonuses and power bonuses and something else called connection bonuses. Okay. Um, so the more that you can do, obviously, the more damage you can do. Um, and that'll benefit you in the long run for your X team, which is pretty much the central feature that we want everyone to work towards because the X teams, not only do they get really rewards, good rewards per battle, um, we also have certain uh, story arc events and ranking battle events in which they are tiered into certain t rewards. So if your X team does really, really well, then you can get the best rewards possible. Um, okay. But it's really nice because um, for this game, you know, most mobile games are gated by like use and time. Right. So we have stamina, um, but personally I feel that you can play a lot of this game without actually having to spend anything. Um, we really try to not make this game pay to win. Because we're all a developer and we work all in-house, we do do like balancing every single story event. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we do have a currency where you can purchase it with real money. Um, that's called X coins, and that is to help you gain villains that will do more damage um, during events. But there's also another currency that we have called time diamonds, and this is earned completely for free. Okay. And so you can get the time diamonds from uh, X team battles, and also from participating in our story events that happen every three weeks. And again, this is completely free, and it enables you to get largely a lot of the same items and mostly convenience items that can uh, help you play a little bit more, you know, get a little bit better. Um, so we really try to maintain a strong balance within the game economy cool. overall too. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. So when is this coming out? So this game has actually been out for about two months already, since okay. January 16th. Um, but the reason why we came to you guys at Touch RK is because, you know, we really worked hard on this game. This is our first game that we developed in-house, um, and we really believe in it. We really want to share it um, with a lot of fans, especially the X-Men fans. Um, and we truly believe that uh, it can be very entertaining, even though for, you know, uh, there is a lot of card battle games out there. but. Um, you know, there's a bit of a learning curve, but I think as soon as you get past that, um, we see that users are becoming really, really engaged with this game. Um, and another feature that I did want to show you, and you'll see this pretty often, is that um, you can have evolution, which is where I probably don't have any cards to evolve them right now, but if you have two of the same card, then you can evolve them to have one stronger card, and then that lends itself to transfusion, which is where you take multiple cards and continue to make one card as strong as possible. Okay. <clears throat> and that's pretty much how people continue to boost up their X teams into becoming the best possible. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty standard mechanic in a lot of these virtual card games now. Is, right, right, right. You know. um, and again, like, some of the best cards are earned from your event rewards, and so... Um, those are t those tend to be the ones that you want to be boosting up during the the lab. And So how is this done so far on the App Store? It's done really well. If you look on the App Store right now, we have over 360 ratings and there are 4.5 stars. So again, we still we feel like we have a really good product here and um, our users are super engaged. Like we have a forums in which people can constantly talk to us about suggestions and they're always giving us suggestions. Um, this isn't the real forums, but you know people can go ahead and say what they want. Um, we have trade X team. The trade function isn't fully implemented yet, but people are working around that with a gifting system. But we're still working on that to develop it in house. Cool. Mm -hmm. Looks neat. 
yeah. And so I just wanted to show you a couple of the cards that we do have available. And this is why we think it'll be really appealing for X-Men fans because if, you know, they have a certain affinity towards certain X-Men, the, they'll be inclined to collect them. And then you can always um, hold down and you can always view stats about them. And you can see ties between certain X-Men and other ones. So say if I clicked on the team bonus, you can see this is all the cards that this, this character has a bonus with. Okay. And it's likely because they also have a relationship with them in the storyline too. And this is something that James Asmus also helped us to develop um, and kind of massage out. But yeah, for the most part, this is a X-Men Valley item. Cool. Looks neat. I uh, post some to people and check it out. Thank you.